hello everyone so welcome back and continue it from the my last topic which we discussed about the azure site recovery uh, in the last video i discussed about uh, what exactly the asr what are the options available on that uh, if you want to watch that you can uh, you have not seen that video you can take it the link from my description box of this video and you will get the link for my previous video to watch it apart from that the entire azure beginners to professional series link is also there so you can take it from there and watch that entire series so let's continue it uh, in this azure site to azure site recovery now we are just going to show i will go and show you how we can configure it and what are the uh, easiest way through which we can achieve it on steps as a lab step that i will also show you here the uh, one of the simple way you can you require an azure subscription that it that must support so multiple regions and mostly it has a recovery option if you are taking it obviously you need to bear the cost you have to configure a, a site recovery vault at a different site and mostly the pair sites are also uh, given once you uh, check the vm disaster recovery it shows uh, at which site you can configure it and how it will go so i will show you that in the normal disaster recovery of a single vm if you are not talking about the entire the uh, vault and their configuration you can simply store and replicate the data uh, between two azure sites uh, that will contain all the configuration in the structure so let's i will show you there are some considerations that you are planning for the cross premises or site recovery deployments in those scenario location <laughs> then the primary sites and uh, location like for the regional disasters or a network latency how much you have and if you're talking about the on-premises server yes you must have an hyper v uh, with or without VMM, you can use the VMware also as well as your physical boxes. Uh, these are the supported structure. If you are going to perform uh, Azure and on-premises replication as well as uh, disaster recovery or site recovery. The next section, if you are talking about the sizing of disk, uh, that can be supported up to 2 TB if Gen 1 and Gen 2 is supported up to 300 uh, GB. Uh, data disk can be up to 4 TB size discount VM up to 16 and VMware it can be up to 64 the channels like SCSI or fiber channels uh, or base shared disks are not supported like if you are using boot from SAN data from SAN LUNs uh, from SAN or NAS so that would not be considered please remember that because in the most of the organization when they have an on-premise infrastructure they also use uh, uh, fiber channels or the shared disk uh, sometime like boot uh, from SAN also so in those scenarios you cannot configure it the reason behind is that uh, those uh, boxes are totally based on storage and storage comes as a LAN only server does not have their storage so you have to consider this point uh, apart from that, if you are doing a cross promises or a site recovery deployment, you must have to configure a couple of things like the IP address space, uh, the same on the as on on premises and different from the on premises. If you have pros and cons are mentioned, it would be depends on the routing issues and all. If you have a different and cross premises connectivity P2S like test, obviously P2S is not a recommended if you are going a such type of huge deployment. P2S is 0.2 site uh, deployment. You, if you have seen this my entire series, you have seen that in the previous videos. We discussed about 0.2 site configuration and the deployment, uh, as well as uh, site to site uh, configuration, S2S. S2S uh, also have uh, given in the part 15 and part, uh, uh, not part 15, part 16, I think. 16 and 17, I talked about uh, how can deploy site to site VPN. 
and uh, point to site in 12 13 14 i have discussed about those so you can refer those parts from the entire series link which is mentioned in the description box and take it from there so uh, you can deploy and would be totally and the best uh, the thing is that if you are using, uh, going to configure this you must use the express route i talked about this in the part 6 i think or in the part 10 on the express route details so you can take it from the information what exactly it is so it's the recommended way when you are trying to use uh, for the replication traffic and plan and plan trailovers the express route is the best thing that you have to use and consider when you are going to configure it for uh, azure site recovery deployment you need to allow a couple of uh, urls in your firewall also like at four 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 three like access control windows.net login.microsoft.line backup.microsoft.azure.com blob.core.microsoft.net so these are the and hyper uh, i think hyper recovery or something it from like recovery manager dot windows azure so these are the couple of things that you have to ensure that those are must not be blocked over there so these are the settings that we have to do if you are doing it on premises to cloud uh, failover or site recovery planning so this is what exactly we have uh, in the azure site recovery now let's leave quickly we just go back to azure portal and see a couple of things so what i have in azure portal i have uh, one virtual machine that is fsvr which is hosted in the cloud and it's hosted in east us uh, location right now if I go and check the disaster recovery planning for this and I want uh, to deploy this virtual machine how we can set it up uh, what all the prerequisites and implementation steps we have to take in uh, we have to take care on that okay so let's quickly move on okay once I clicked on disaster recovery option this one it will give me an uh, option or selected locations where it can be located so current the pairing is showing as us east and us west so i can select the target region as us west here a uh, couple of other regions like us east 2 i can use that i can use that so it will show uh, the selected region and source region and the available target regions so these are the regions where i can replicate my vm anything whatever i want i can choose it as per my requirement i will show you how we can configure this disaster recovery for this application vm itself only as well as uh, how we can configure uh, with azure site recovery vault configuration so i will be back in the next video and continue it from here till that time uh, Keep watching this channel and do subscribe is next video link is also there in the description box and entire beginners to professional series link is also there in the description box so just keep watching and do subscribe it i will be connect uh, with you in the next video thank you